Hey guys, it's Ken back again with another quick video. Uh, this was originally supposed to be an unboxing, but due to an unexpected bug and some other pushbacks, we're doing it this way, so I hope you guys still dig it. This was a huge score for me as a Corey's fan, and a Feld Dog fan in particular. Um, if you're a fan of his music, you know how hard it is to come across a lot of it physically or at a decent cost. And so, uh, let's dive in. First, we have the iconic soundtrack for The Lost Boys, the film that would plant the seed for Corey Mania. I had this one several years ago, but I'm not sure what happened to it. Uh, might have loaned it to a friend who never gave it back, but all I know is I'm happy to have it back in the collection. Um, every track immediately evokes images of the movie and childhood nostalgia and spades, and it's still a blast to listen to after all these years. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Uh, this soundtrack had eluded me for some time. It was never re-released, and the cheapest I'd see it pop up for would be around 40 to 50 plus shipping costs. So it seemed like one I'd have to get lucky on finding in a pawn shop or something. And, uh, License to Drive is my all-time favorite to Corey's flick, and definitely the one film most represented in my overall collection. Might have to do a video on that at some point. Let me know below if you guys like to see that. Um, but again, another masterfully crafted set of tracks that take you right back to the late 80s. Definitely recommend it if you can come across this one cheap enough. Now these are definitely the grails of the lot here. Uh, this is Feldman's debut album from 1994, Love Lost. Um, one still sealed and one signed by Felddog himself. According to Corey, only a thousand of these were produced, so it's really amazing to me to have such a piece of history like this. He has his haters, but I enjoy a lot of the tracks on this one. A um, couple of them popping up in the wonderfully wacky Dream a Little Dream 2 probably doesn't hurt. <laughs> but he's clearly having a ball, and it's insanely infectious from top to bottom. There's a distinct possibility I'll be buried with these, as well as my signed uh, Silver Bullet tie-in. Uh, link below if you missed that video, by the way. But yeah, this is just truly amazing stuff, man. Like, it's uh, to have a piece of history like this, as well as having one sign, is just uh, it's pretty huge. Then lastly for the CDs, we have the first Truth Movement album from 1998, Still Searching for Soul. Um, Truth Movement, for those who don't know, was Felt Dog's Pink Floyd influence group that uh, went even more experimental with it, and they're interesting tracks to dive into. More of a lay back on your bed with a joint and let your mind drift off kind of experience, but uh, if you're into that thing, then I highly recommend it. Honestly, some of it could make for a great alternative film score, if some genius wanted to give that a try sometime. Um, but definitely uh, more experimental. It's not quite as poppy as a lot of his other stuff, but it's definitely interesting kind of, you know, lose yourself in it type music. If that sounds like your jam, I recommend picking this one up. Um, it's kind of hard to come by, but I've seen it pop up for decent prices once or twice, so it's out there if you're looking. And this is probably the raddest part of the lot here. Um, this is a Truth Movement US Tour shirt from 2000. Um, has this badass design on the front with all these drawings and characters. Um, the clown juggling reels of film and the tornado with hands in particular. Honestly, would make pretty rad tattoos, I think. Um, something about the bright orange against black pops really great. And I just really dig the design overall. It's uh, If they did reprints of the shirt, I would buy the shit out of one. And then of course you have the tour dates going down the back here. Um, I imagine these are pretty rare now, especially from this era, so this is beyond cool to have one. I was initially kind of bummed that it was a medium, so there was no chance in hell of it fitting my fat ass, but uh, it really should be properly displayed, and I'm hoping to have that figured out here pretty soon. Well, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Um, the final trailer for Nasty will be dropping as soon as possible. There's been a lot of work mainly done on the film, trying to get everything as tight as possible for the few reshoots we have in the summer, but rest assured, it's still the main priority. But if you dig this, let me know down below what other videos you want to see. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.